And so we have everything really set up here. You're able to create a meal plan and there's even a record of the feeds. So feed number, we'll do one and we'll do a manual feed. All right, so today I have a new smart home item that I'm super excited about. As you know here, a lot of the videos I do are related to smart home tech, and this product is something that we've bought a couple of, but we don't have any that work with an app. So, special thanks to Lily Pets for sending us their automatic pet feeder that works, yes, with a, uh, there it is, that works with an Apple App Store and Google Play Store app. So of course, we're gonna get on the overhead rig, go through the unboxing of this product to see everything that comes inside of here. Then we'll get the app on our phone and go through the entire setup process of this pet feeder and show you exactly how it works. So special thanks to them for sending this product to us to make a video and click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And now let's check out this app controlled automatic pet feeder. All right, so let's go through the unboxing here. On the front of the box, just the company name and automatic pet feeder, a little picture. You got dual power supply, time schedules, four liter capacity, app control. This just has a picture of a cute dog and kitten. They can be used for either one. Same here as on the other side. And then this actually has the apps you can download. So you have the uh, installation video and a download app. So that's, that's really, there's nothing really around the box. Let's go ahead and Open it up, let's see what comes inside here. Foam on top, all right. And, wow, basically the whole thing. Yeah, that's, that's all that's in here. Okay. So, let's lay this on down, take a look at it. Got a little peely plastic here. Love it. So the first thing I'd say is if you look on the bottom here, you can see here's the USB-C port and you got a nice little way to route your uh, cable around. And then that is where the batteries can go. And they're actually regular batteries. That's pretty awesome. Normally they're big D batteries. These look like some uh, regular double A's. Now if you look at the front of the device here, this is right where the food would come out and everything should be up in this top, which, oh, look at that, it has a little release button. Oh, that's very nice. So if it turns over, you ain't really got to worry about it. Up here, you can even put the things to keep your uh, food fresh. And then here is some of that stuff. Not eat. Okay. So that's, oh, there's another one. Two of them. So this is essentially where the food goes in. The food just goes down in there. And I mean, that's kind of that. This over here has your uh, bowl and little metal tray, which literally nothing special. It just sits right on it like that and looks like that. Very, very nice. And we got a little user's manual here that also has the apps, so that'll be helpful. And last but not least is the actual USB-C power brick. Very, very nice. So all that's left now is to get this plugged up, get a little bit of food and put it in here and try to show you exactly how this works. So uh, let me wire up this cable, grab some dog food and I'll be right back. All right, so we're plugged in here and let's flip this back around and set it on the tray. And we just gotta plug this into power. All right, so the only lights are on the side over here. And there's a little bit of disassembly instructions there, but basically we gotta put some dog food in here. That should be enough. And then our nice secure lid just pops right on. I love that. That's one of the best parts, I think. So now we'll take our smartphone and we'll scan this QR code to take us to download the app. So there's the app. We're gonna install the app, create us an account, and then we'll come back here and go through the setup process with you. All right, so now we've made an account. It just needed an email address, a password, and it was ready to go. So now we wanna add a device. So we'll select add device, and we'll let it get our location while using the app. And we have Wi-Fi pet feeder, Wi-Fi pet fountain, and pet toys ball 
with Bluetooth. So we have a Wi-Fi pet feeder, and now it just needs my Wi-Fi password. And sometimes you may see this, I've never had an issue selecting carry on. So if you get this message because your 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz Wi-Fi are the same name, just select carry on. So now it's telling us to press and hold the reset button for five seconds until the indicator blinks. So uh, that would be this button on the side here. So Mississippi, three Mississippi, five Mississippi. So there we go, the light went away and now we have a green flashing light. I don't know if you can see it there, but there's a green flashing light. And so I'm gonna switch it from easy mode to AP mode. And now we've switched to AP mode. I'm gonna confirm that it's blinking rapidly because it is. And now we're gonna connect to this device, which should show up here in our Wi-Fi. There it is, Smart Life. So we'll connect in and we'll swipe back. And now since it already has my SSID and password and I was connected directly to this device, this app should give this device the SSD, SSID and password and connect in, which it looks like it did. It's already on initializing device. And there it is, Wi-Fi feeder. So let's uh, give it a different name. We're gonna call it Buddy's Feeder. There we go, done. And so we have everything really set up here. You're able to create a meal plan and there's even a record of the feeds. So feed number, we'll do one and we'll do a manual feed. Interesting how that works. So let's do two this time. All right, so there is a few settings here. You can put it on slow feed and have an indicator, and it can also be factory reset from that location. And really, that's about it. You just create your plan here, create what time, what days, how much they get. They're able to have up to 10 portions and set it all up inside the app uh, however you would like. So that's essentially do it for this pet feeder. Now, I want to mention that this one only works off of the app. This is a manual feed button, but outside of that, all of the settings and feedings actually have to be done from inside the app. So just a little caveat there. The four liter capacity, you can put the batteries in the bottom, really can't complain. All right, so that will do it for this app enabled automatic pet feeder. Super nice and easy to set up and just having the ability to create those schedules and change things without having to use some annoying touch screen on the pet feeder is definitely the way to go. We have two other ones that have the touch screens and the buttons and they're such a headache to change when like the time changes and stuff like that. These would be fully automated through that app, nice and easy. So of course, I'll have this exact model linked down below if you would like this app enabled pet feeder for your household. It's perfect for a cat, perfect for a dog. You know, four liters of food will uh, last a good while. I think we can get about 10 to 12 days out of that. So we only have to fill ours up uh, maybe twice, two to three times a month. So I'll do it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch, and we'll see you in the next one. Deuces.